The first event of the day is a slalom, and here's the winning run in the junior division, Adrian Batho, age 15, from Manly, New South Wales. And he's done the run in 10.56 seconds. Another manly boy, Bob Hasty, shows the style that is taking him through to the finals of the senior division. All the hours of hard practice leading up to today have paid off for Bob. This is the fastest time so far in the senior division, an amazing 9.88 seconds. A hot favourite today from Victoria is Robert Francis, known to all in the skateboarding world as Wedge. He's a very popular skateboarder and his good looks and natural style have gained him a big following. Wedge has appeared in skateboarding films and is featured on a poster in a commercial. Watch the way Wedge weaves his way through the obstacles. This is Wedge on his second run. He has to beat Bob Hastie's 9.88 on the 100-yard slalom. He'll lose a second if he hits a marker. His time, 10.26, which gives him third place. Mark Hopkins, a 16-year-old from New South Wales. If he doesn't take a spin now, Mark Hopkins could be the 1976 slalom champion. And he's done it with a time of 9.82. The second event of the 1976 Skateboard Winter Olympics is freestyle. This is the routine that earned Wedge from Victoria's second place. David Hill from the New South Wales Skateboard Association takes up the commentary. They call Bain twists or walkovers into endovers. Tick tacks, pushes off, try to keep himself going, but he's lost his balance there, a bit of a bump on the surface. Here he goes for Hang 10 Nose Willie, and I think he's going to try it. No, it's a 360 Nose Willie. One of, that is the most difficult 360 with the, um, no, the two feet on the nose and spinning around through two 360s as he did there. Wedge has a little trick here that he's, a spe he has, he's the only one that does this, which is a wheelie kneeling. And uh, he's taken a bit of skin off his knees a few times while he's been doing that one. Goes for it again, I think he's going to go for a 360 while he's holding this one this time. Again, this is a wedge specialty, no, not quite pulling it off, he's a little bit tired, he's been competing quite a while now since this morning, so that's probably explains it. 360s, again, not quite enough balance. A gust of wind then may have upset him as well. When you're doing these extreme balance tricks, anything like a little bit of wind, a little bit of dust on the surface, that's all it takes to throw you off balance. Very good power slide there, the wheels are making quite a lot of noise. The, the more noise and the faster they're done, the more the audience seems to like that. Women's freestyle champion Lynn Gross demonstrates the different types of skateboard wheelies. Would you believe this is the easiest one you can do, on one foot at the front. Now a wheelie on one foot at the back of the board. A nose and tail wheelie, one foot front, one back and tail in the air. In this wheelie, you don't have a leg in the air to help you balance. A hard trick to master. Lynn can hold this for seven minutes. Back in the freestyle area, this is Gary Bird, 1976 freestyle skateboard champion. David Hill explains Gary's gold medal winning technique. Get yourself going again. In competitions like this, uh, it's fairly important that if you fall off, you get yourself going, but don't get yourself too nervous. He's now doing a few more power slides. Slow 360 attempt. Setting himself up for 360s. Not bad on the 360s, four 360s there. Skates around for another attempt at the next trick. Notice he gives himself time between tricks to set himself up. Goes for a two point power slide, which he makes. Again, getting himself ready. A nose to tail wheelie is attempting, which is the hardest type of wheelie. One foot at the front of the board, one foot at the back. And he was also trying to make it better by putting spins into it. Well, that's it from the 1976 Skateboard Winter Olympics here at North Rocks. Back to the Flasher studio.